all the mixed Migos and possible Migos. My name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video and welcome to my first reaction to Rab C Nesbit. I hope I pronounced that correctly, by the way. Uh, so this is a channel points request by Gary. Thank you, Gary, for using your points on this. And Rab C Nesbit is a Scottish comedy series which began in 1988. Uh, it uh, actually began with a one-off special and then ran from 1990 all the way to 1999. It returned for Christmas special in 2008 and then two more series, series 9 in 2010 and series 11, or yeah, series 9 in 2010, series 10, I should say, in 2011. Got myself mixed up there. Uh, the last episode was a New Year special all the way back in 2014. Uh, interestingly enough, this show actually began, its pilot episode was a Christmas special, so ain't that convenient. Um, in 1988, so that's what we're going to watch today. Uh, whether or not I can get this on YouTube, I have no clue, because while the rest of the show did air on BBC Two, the special aired on BBC One Scotland, so I don't know if that changes things or not. Um, so before we get started, real quick, uh, for those of you who have watched the channel for a while know that I am usually, or I'm always, not in the business of showcasing uh, sexual predators. Uh, unfortunately, throughout the history of UK television, especially in the game show scene, there's been a lot of those, uh, which is why I will never do shows featuring people like that, and if there's ever segments of people like that, I tend to cut it out. Uh, for instance, there was a Jimmy Savile impersonation segment in the recent Bullseye Reaction, which I cut because I'm not going to showcase him. I am also like to be very open if I ever have to do an episode with someone who has been convicted of sexual abuse or anything horrible of that nature. Uh, I am also trying to be very open as to why I'm showcasing them or uh, what they did if they're integral to the episode. Um, so I do want to take a moment to acknowledge uh, Eric Cullen, and which is who had just an incredibly sad life. So Eric Cullen uh, played the character Wee Bunny in the show um, and uh, he was born with dwarfism uh, he was sexually abused by a violent pedophilia ring uh, starting from the age of 13 and due to his dwarfism uh, that continued into the age of 20 uh, once he got famous also his abusers returned and started uh, extorting him for money with mercenaries and as a result of that he developed uh, clinical depression and PTSD uh, in 93, though, Colin himself was arrested for possession of child pornography. Uh, however, he claims that it was in his possession because his abusers forced him to hold it. Uh, regardless, he spent two years incarcerated waiting for conviction, and he was found guilty in 95 uh, and given three years probation. Um, he then decided to dedicate the rest of his life to fighting uh, pedophiles and uh, pornography for child pornography and uh, pedophilia rings and stuff like that uh, but then less than a year later in 1996 he died of a massive heart attack at the age of 31 and all that is just the saddest shit I've ever heard in my entire life I gotta say I like somebody always has it worse you know and that is one of the saddest life stories I've ever heard ever like that that's I cannot even imagine how incredibly fucked up of a life that is you know so yeah I mean whether or not uh, if he was being extortive and it's plausible that the stuff about you know him holding it for them is entirely plausible and it's possible that he was you know n never willingly in possession of the child pornography and was being extorted to do it and if that's so, God, that's fucked up. That's just so fucked up. So I really hope he found peace in the end one way or another. Because, God, that, that's just it's so incredibly rough. Um, so in case anyone had heard about him being arrested in the past or wanted the full story on that, that is it, basically, out of the best of my knowledge. Uh, so rest in peace to him because it's just Jesus Christ, you know. Um, but... On a lighter note, uh, we are going to watch the episode, the first ever episode, the pilot. It is called Seasonal Greet. Again, don't know if this will be on Daily Motion or YouTube. Uh, it's about 46 minutes. Let's go ahead and watch it. 41 minutes is the runtime on this. How convenient. The show starts with a Christmas special. That's actually... 
That's incredibly convenient, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If there's any other shows like that that kicked off the Christmas special. Christmas, eh? I'm all excited, so I'm. I know when Me you're too. poor, you shouldn't get excited. Life's sure to boot you in the gub, isn't it? <laughs> well, either life or rab, that is. But the way I see it, everybody's entitled to enjoy themselves at least once in the year. Even if it takes a crisis loan to do it. <laughs> no, they will get one, of course. But anyway, that's where rab is, I do. Doing the SS, gain at Laldi with his homicidal fury. <laughs> and as he calls it, his sales technique. As you know, my rab is a certified psycho. Oh. <laughs> His family was a Glasgow bus driver, so he had a great role model, you know. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I've got a picture of the pair of them here. Look at that. You can see the family resemblance. Yeah, I can see it. Actually. Another one as well. This is with two boys, Gash and Bernie. A lot of folks say that Bernie takes after his father, but I can't see it myself. <laughs> anyway, he's taking a pair of them doing the SS as well. He figures it's time they learn the family business, you know. <laughs> I must say, it's lovely being able to talk about my family like this. I'm fair flattered, so I am. I haven't had this much attention since my last smear test. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you act like as if you're emotionally disturbed? Well... What did you do that, Dad? Just think it's a wee cameo roll, right? It's no hellish what you've got through for this Christmas, my lad, these days, James, yes? Yeah, right, Dad. It's no like we were boys. It's all money these days. Hey, Rap, you want me to go in there with you for moral support, like? Aye, 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 James. I mean, near offence, near offence, near offence. They ain't taking that. No, but I mean, it's his family, James, you know? Aye. And when all's said and done, a man's got to look after his own family. True. All right? You're right, Rab, you're right. That's very true. Because, I mean, take a man's family. Can I just say, I'm sorry real quick, I'm really glad that I've I watched, like, what, 15 episodes of Steel Game going into this, because the accents in this are stronger than in Steel Game. And if I had no exposure to the Scottish accent at all and trying to understand it, I'd be fucked <laughs> as far as this show goes. There's probably some of it I'm still not going to make out, but... I, I can still make out most of it for the most part, which, thank God for that. Yeah, we're well, James in. What's it going? What's it going? Nothing. Nothing, lad. Nothing. Nothing except money and freedom. <laughs> <laughs> what good money and freedom are like to me, you know? I'm a man that has other riches. A man that has the fruit of his loins standing here erect in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing, by the way? <laughs> I'm working on my motivation, Dad. I'll stick my toe up your crevice for that motor Right, I'm away for a swag shop at job shop, but I'll see you in Higgins later. All right, you are, James. I'll see you later. Right, come on, you go. Oh, no. Don't worry, pal. We come in peace. What can I do for you, Mr. Nesbitt? Hey, I am not here to waste your time. You are a busy man, I'm a busy man. You've got your job to do, I've got my racing to watch. So I'll come right to the point. Now, I am not a man to play on sympathy, even though I've got this shrapnel wound in my head here. <laughs> point is this. See these two boys here? These two boys has not air in for three days, and one of them is suffering for TB. All right, sir. I look at it, mister. I've got a TB while you're my napper. No, it's really a fucking My daddy's right. And, and if only we could get the vital medicines that we so hey, urgently. urgently require. <coughs> How are you falling for so this? There you have it, pal. There you have it. Wayne's that and doing deed in the street. The trailer's up in the high door with Willie. Now, I'm not trying to put you in the spot or dying, But the point is this. It's your fault. So what the hell are you going to do about it? Eh? Me? Nothing. Oh, Dad, got him. What do you mean, nothing? Uh, look, Mr. Nesbitt, now, don't get me wrong. I understand your situation. Christmas is coming up, and you're in dire need of more money. But the fact is, your case 
just doesn't meet the necessary conditions. And there's nothing that I or anyone else here can do about it. Oh, I see. Oh. I see that's your final word, does it? I'm afraid so. Well, I will tell you this point. I don't know how you do your job. I don't know how you sleep in your bed at night. <laughs> because I couldn't sleep in my bed at night. That's because you sleep during the day, Dad. Shut <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something else. Are you a Christian, buddy? Are you a Christian? Yes. Well, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. You read your good book, boy. Because you know what it says in there? It says, the meek shall inherit the earth. And they don't come much meeker than me, boy. <laughs> she and me and the rest of the meek have our horns in there. We're coming down to your house. The meek shall rise. A double market. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> He's cursed that man. Oh look. That's just the meat. Wait till two D gets their horns in me. Shut the I seen him first. Did he just break character today? <laughs> hey, what's that you're reading, Jamesy? Situation's vacant. Oh, there's Rob. How'd it go to day, Rob? Any joy? Joy? Oh, Christ, a Christmas! <laughs> I'll give you some queer ideas, James, the caught him. Ah, nae mun, nae fun, eh? Same as the rest is. Bloody right. And the best shit is, they're going to get all the money back, aren't they? I mean, what am I going to do with it? Blow it on, booze and fags. Maybe. So you tell them, didn't it? Straight back into Big Nigel's trousers of pocket. <laughs> Christmas appeal, Rob. Christmas appeal. Christmas appeal. It's about anti Christmas appeal. Anti Christmas appeal. Oh, you tut 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 in it. I don't like that kind of talk. Yeah. That's communist talk, that. <laughs> and I cherish my liberty. Liberty! Liberty! You're three months into a suspended sentence and you had to change your name by deed to dodge paying your catalogue money. <laughs> I mean, there's no worry as you get too hate this up again. Now, we've all done time for not money, but if we had the courage of our previous convictions, we'd say no more hurry, no more sorrow, get thee behind me, Christmas. Bloody yeah. Thing. You know something, George? I like the way you talk. In fact, see if you knew one, I'm going to call you Dodie. <laughs> you hear that, everybody? Dodie. I've always wanted a nickname. <laughs> so we're all agreed well. No more Christmas. Exactly. No more Christmas. Yeah. One for all Wait. and no for none. <laughs> Ole. Uh, well, all right. <laughs> I still cherish my liberty. Ole. Hello! Look at this, see? Look at it. Hey, shall I make you spew your ring in it? <laughs> see, that's the one me of the Xmas tree, you know. And a clatty manger with three rubber wise men that know what to about a Sunday doll that's cramped in a cot. I'm going to have tea. Thanks very much. Hey, doll. You a Christian? Yes. You ever thought about getting it all up and letting doubt into your life? I hardly think so. Go on, be a devil. Give me atheism a try. Just for the hell of you. Look, you please go away. Is it the hymns, is it? Is it the hymns? Me and my mates just got hymns. You mean the monkeys? Monkeys? I'm she about believer. to whip your ass, bro. You did. I'm a disbeliever. <laughs> oh, she about to lose it. No, I'm a disbeliever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's just a wee joke tonight. No, oh, we touch a satire. That was the week that was. You're probably too young to remember that, of course. I don't bloody well think. <laughs> she gonna come back from a machete for you tomorrow, dude. Look at it, look at it. Everywhere you go, dirty big curtains, sneering <laughs> down at you. Big smiling curtains with her, with her, with her kind to the touch woolens and their, and their user friendly knickers and their wee oxo wings and their Adidas haircuts and their big red lips sticking out. Ready to shook up the gravy. I'll tell you one thing, boy. 
Der er også siden der var en ting. Hey, syrgrebe. Hvad er det for en grebe? 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 Okay, okay, I guess so I confused. That's not a good shout to make you feel even my life, no. <laughs> All the best, pal. <laughs> I guess like, what the fuck? Oh, here we go, eh? Hey, Chris. Oh. See, maybe, maybe, maybe that's going to me, man. but see this, see this, this, to me, is what Christmas is all about, no. <laughs> a big man lying in the gutter with a stupid paper hat and he's never, <laughs> I mean, look at this, look at that. Guys, he's, he's even got a wee bit of tinsel wrapped in his list. Hey, boy. You know, I've seen the old days. I've seen me lying there in the gutter, drunk, you know, a wee bit kind of tipsy and that, and uh, blood pouring out me. And the good Samaritan would come along, and the good Samaritan would stop. And uh, I'd give him a wee bit of the old flannel, and he cut a long story short. If he didn't come out with a wallet pronto, I'd give him a right good pummeling, no. A right good dude. <laughs> But you see the difference was in them days, pal. It was all fun. You <laughs> know. But uh, you see, what we had in them days was standards. You see, because no matter how much we put it is melting, we always made sure of one thing. We always left the good Samaritan with enough dosh for his bus fare him. No. Jesus. Look at that. Look at that. Here, pal. You better look after that. Cause some bugger will half inch it, you know. They'll take it away for you, yeah. I love this bloody carry out of I'm doing you a favour, by the way. Hey, uh, principal, just, just stand up, no. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. At least you kept, kept your money, bro. He did you a favour. Standards, favor. is it? Standards? What do you know about bloody standards? You've all raised your flagpole three times in your life. And you can see two of the results of that lot and antlers in the fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you, I'm not sure. Did you give it up? You can insult it's my place all your life. But I will tell you one thing, lady. There is no Christmas decorations, Scott, in my house. In my house, Rob? In my house? All right, all right. This is well, this is. I <laughs> agree, Rob. Well, you <laughs> is. Honest to God, I don't know what gets into you sometimes. You've got everything a man could ask for. Nay, job, six cans in the fridge. Who's the only one? TV, shut it, you. I'm the one that should be complaining. What have I got? I've got nothing. None. None. <laughs> Just look at you, my God, you've got everything, everything. Thinking about you ever with a precious gift of life sticking out your gut. Oh, I forgot about that. I mean, I'm the envy of the street, because nobody in Govan's ever had money, these are poor have <laughs> What? Know how you're up sticking that? Well, does that mean we can't get any presents this year? Don't you worry about that, sir. The day will never come when a wainy mind goes without a present at Christmas. Yeah. Even if I have to work my fingers till they bleed. How what is it you want? A Porsche. Bruh. <laughs> Shoot, and you'll like it. See, that's the difference between You're getting you socks. Like. I can still see the good things about Christmas. You can only see the bad things. Don't try to talk me around by talking sense to me. <laughs> oh no. What? Well, if my dad Disney want decorations up, and you do want decorations up, could you not split a difference and, like, just decorate half the room and leave the other half bare? Barney, son. I fear for you. If only a Nisbet would come up with an idea like that. What do you mean? What do you mean? Sounds all right to me. Only a Nisbet would agree with it. Barney, come here, son. I have a wee present for you. Oh, great. Can I die? Can I? Ah, go on, son. Go on. You, you deserve it. That's a blue. That's a blue. That's my boy. Why are you taking the blame? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? You're going to learn a bit, Doogie. Aye. That offends our beliefs. That's Christmas music, Ab. All right. Keep your halo on. Yeah, actually, turn this off. I can't, I can't ah, put the song on YouTube. Life, All right. Oh, shit. Still going. Next day, you've got beliefs. 
See if I knew beliefs were this much fun. I'd have got myself some of them years ago, so I would. Do you want a crisp, Dodie? No, I don't believe in them. I'll take one anyway. I mean, I don't want to turn the market. Uh, Dodie's right, Rob, and that's all thanks to you. See, when you're skint, you're made to feel like geek. See, when it's Christmas, you're made to feel worse than geek. You're like a second class citizen. Hey, oh, man. You think you're so lucky. In the old days, I would have been promoted. I'm Elms Tall. Anyway, see me. See when I get home last night, I says three things to the wife. I says, number one, I'm not getting you any presents this year, right? Oof. Says, number two, don't you give me any presents, right? What was number three? I says, but if you insist on getting us a present, get us a pair of A-Red cycling shorts with a wee gallus emblem on the side. <laughs> I feel lap them up, so I do. You're hell of a quiet, Jimsy. What did you say to wife last night? Oh, I, I was too oh, nice. I didn't do much talk to anybody last night. No, I, I was late getting back my work. What? You got a job now? Huh? It's not a Christmas job, is it? Oh, do you take the Santa no. job? No, hell, hell no, Rob. No, no, it's, uh, it's uh, I, I look on it like social work. No, it's dealing with wings and that. Oh, he took the Santa job, didn't he? You know, wants and needs kind of hanging off. The counsellor. Yeah. Uh, Aye. That's right, aye. I'm a child counsellor. Oh, here's that at time. Still need to get back, you know, because it's late night counselling tonight. night. Still need to counsel a bloody lady to make my coat up, right? Jeez, boys. Keep up the good work, Jamesy. Many are so grateful, you know? Okay. Smashing <laughs> bloke that hair up. That uh-huh. don't make your heart feel proud, no? Oh, I, well, it does, Andrew. Oh, it's solely her. One of the best. I, I wouldn't hear a word against him. I wonder what the slickest swine's up to. <laughs> oh, hey, Diggy, you going to turn that up, eh? That's one of your favourite songs, there. Eh? Are you kidding? That's why Christmas. I thought you hated Christmas. How we do? But that doesn't mean to say we, we, we can't have a good bubble in a sing song. That right, oh, boys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it a cover. It's transformative. That's how fair use works. Scamming the system, boys. Muscles. <laughs> I'm feeling muscles. I'm feeling warm myself. See yourself. See yourself. You watch your muscles, bro. I see, I see you getting Christmas decorations up here. Eh? I am no thanks to you. Oh, don't talk to me, Ravnes, but I won't get to your bed. Oh, oh man. <laughs> don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. You're my world, <laughs> oh, You're my world. You haven't. You and I have got a special love that no man can... Uh, what was that you were watching the telly, by the way? Christmas carols. Christmas carols? <laughs> Oozy, squeezy, tickly, middle-class propaganda car. <laughs> ah, and what of it? Listen, pal, that's you and half of the room over there. You see that... Oof. Oh. <laughs> ...for looking half. And this is my half here. The warm, ordinary human half. The yeah. half away the telly in it. And I'm watching bloody well Christmas carols in my half of the room. All right. See ya, hi. Slash. Slash. <laughs> she didn't give him a lampshade. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Tell him what you make me in your half of the room. There are more controls than that! <laughs> <laughs> the fight goes on! The fight goes on! Stick to... I'm stick. Oh. Two clickers. Oh, 
Look at that shame. No one hustle in the bustle. <laughs> some place in Glasgow, boy. Some place in Glasgow. We're trendy now, by the way. We've got a... That's a cool the camera shot. Trendiness, you know. Rotten hooses, big fat bastards and flash motors. <laughs> London, see the London. Can't show us nothing. Not at You know what you think? I give people a taste of a real glass, you know what I mean? I like that shot from far away, him doing a monologue in the other other. Excuse me, pal. You, you couldn't see if I cleared Guinness 50 pence for a lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, pal. All the very best you. I usually charge 10 pence, you know, but well, if you're too cheap, the dinkies don't respect you. <laughs> <laughs> I win, whack! He's still going. That man can't be stopped. I'll take those socks. That man's just giving away socks? Surely I'll take a card. There you are. You know, you know the trouble with life, do you? Let's be buggers trying to sell you something. You know what my attitude is? I just try to be firm, but polite, no. For the Jabberwocky? <laughs> oh! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> That's a concussion. Yeah, you kicked out of the department store, bro. Ta da! Ta-da. A moment of sanity in a world gone mad. Uh -oh. I'm going. I'm going. Where's the toy department, by the way? I need a couple of computers for my wings. <laughs> You go far, by the way, you know, your car's magic. <laughs> She's trying to get for her day, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's a different world nowadays, isn't it? Eh? I mean, look at this, look at this. Tracksuits, <laughs> mountain bikes. Christ, all you ever got in your stocking in my day was an orange. And that was only the orange? because the Satsumas fell through the holes in the toes. <laughs> oh shit. Hey! Up there, you! Oi! <laughs> Get got. Ho, ho, ho. So, oh, is that him? Tell me, sir. What would you like Santa to bring you for your Christmas? I see. More software. An improved input output modulator. Uh, well, we'll see. Meanwhile, here's a wee plastic guilty to keep you going. There you are, son. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Pathetic, isn't it? Look at him. Hey, a lot of you skint as me. I mean, hard to break the wind and give him a good shake, and there'd be a ticker tape of probably lines up between our beds. <laughs> see, Christmas. 
You can stuff it. There you are. And I'm glad to tell you, I've got a few mates that feel exactly the same way, no? All right, Santa. How's your love life? Oh, yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks. Look, if you don't mind, I'm trying to create a magic world of Christmas illusion here. So bugger off. Bugger off! <laughs> Would you tell me to bugger off? Would you tell me to bugger off? What are you sitting there with your, with your high tech trainers and your, and your governed team tattoo? Hey, make me your for Greenland. Who are you tattooing, boy? Who are you tattooing? I'm not so. I'm on. I'm for Greenland. You beat it! <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> governed team tattoo. Let me get a swatch of your coupon, boy. <laughs> oh, no! I knew it! I knew it! Counseling! You sweet it swine that you are! Alright, so sweet it! So what other? If I tell you it's straight, your face would have been trapping you! Ho ho ho! <laughs> You're the very man! You're the one that said a man had to look after his family! So that's why that I'm poor kid! Who are looking after number one boy? That's all you have done! God dirty red nosed wee Judas that you are! Don't you call me a Judas! Don't you call me that! Ho ho ho! <laughs> You thank me for this way of life! <laughs> Dog, what is wrong with you? Hey, that's a nasty man away now. They kill me, sir. What would you like Santa to bring you for your Christmas? Stephanie Beecham. <laughs> You're a bit old for her. Uh, would Brit Eklund do instead? In my years, oh my God. <laughs> I have dealt with many despicable offences, but few more so than yours, Nesbitt. Oh, <laughs> Relief in Santa Claus is one of the basic pillars on which our society is founded. Yeah. It's right up there with God, a good malt whiskey, and the use of coincidence in television comedy. <laughs> and to reveal a child that Santa does not exist is, in my book, worse than the martyr. Wow. For assaulting store personnel and causing a disturbance, you will go to prison for 21 days. Wow. 21 days, eh? Does that mean I'll miss Christmas? No. I mean, sure of that. <laughs> you vicious swine at you! <laughs> I will tell you this part. You've got trouble now, there you are. Because the prison has yet to be built that can hold Rab C. Nesbitt. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty protest, is it, brother? Dirty protest. I christen. But my living room's mankier than an awful few cells in it. It's nothing new to me. It's nothing new to me. King will be up, sir. And I'll tell you something else. I'll tell you something else. Malt whiskey, is it? Malt whiskey? Well, how comes your carry out with half a dozen Carly specials and a bottle of Fine Fair's finest rock at? Hey, hey, you're out of shame. You're out of shame, so you are. Look at these conditions. Look at these conditions. Shut it. You're not even in the jail yet. Ah, I'm just glad. Life. I wash my hands of it. It all seems that unfair, so it does. The big magistrates are there with their skiing holidays and their burberries. And I'm stuck down here with my mutton pies and my heart disease. <laughs> what does Taz let her say? Dear Mary, hope you are okay. I am okay. <laughs> Do not worry. On no account, worry. P.S. I am on hunger strike. Hunger <laughs> strike? Oh, no. You're fucked, bro. Would you look at the chips in that? <laughs> How you managing with your hunger strike, eh? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not very happy about it at all. I mean, Chris, I've been on it four days now. Look, like, see that? I haven't they lost a thing. <laughs> all right, once your metabolism adjusts. Look at mine, eh? <laughs> hey, had any hallucinations yet? Hallucinations? Oh, yes. Well known side effect. We bonus. No? Blackouts are good too. But they get a bit. See me. Oh, yes. It's a rich and varied life, stabbing yourself to death. I see, I see. Huh? I say, life is what you make it. So's death. I love it all. 
They say the last phase of a hunger strike is when you lapse into a coma. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm very changed. <laughs> they say it could happen to me quite soon. Coma, eh? What is a coma, by the way? That's a bloody disgrace, so is. Well, he did no sympathy for me. This bit brought up on himself, and if he asks me, he's not my father. Oh, but that's what I like about Rab. See, I'm a wee tube, so he gave me something to look up to. Well, uh, <laughs> see what you like, boys, but I know who I blame for all this. Oh. Oh, come on. Evening, boys. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, can I buy you so a drink? No. No, no. I can afford it now that I am a festive field worker. Beat it, Claus. We're fussy who we spew with. <laughs> there, James. See that shooter? Yeah. Is there snow on it? No. Oh. Well, there should be because it's cold enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, hey, boys, is it, is it me or is there a funny wang of reindeer dung about here? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Sarah. Oh, sorry, no, no. I get I get it. Eh? Just because I've tried to better myself. Yeah. Wait, oh, come yeah. on. I'm on your side. I've known Rab since we were wee boys. But Rab knows I'm sleeker. He prefers me to be sleeker. <laughs> this is what makes me lovable. Oh, I will believe that, won't we, boys? Ho, ho, ho! Tell me, scumbags. I'm going up to Napoleon's for a splitzer. <laughs> Bro, you're about to get jumped. Your first Christmas miracle. A man we need backbone walking upright. <laughs> nice. It's food. Food. The hallucinations, rubber. And look at it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you taught me. You, you know who I am. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, is this gonna be some fucking Scrooge shit? Yep. this dream before I know how it finishes. Cheerio then, eh? And you stick with it, Rab. It's got a surprise ending. Oh boy. Oh, I wanted to see a surprise ending. Whoa. Oh, there it is. I'm Kirsty, a big hello for the wee apple. Oh, there, why, why? Two, three, four. Christmas says a lot of fun. Salvation's groovy too. <laughs> if someone has to get rich quick, then rather me than you. Ole! Ole! Surprise! Oh, ba 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 ba. Oh. It's another dream, isn't it? It's another, it's a sequel. It's a follow up. <laughs> Hallucination 2. Electric Boogaloo. Uh, <laughs> Hope you like it, Rab. No, it was the least I could do. Mind you, 
at the council for three nights and a Sunday to pay for it all, you know, but ah, well, you know what they say, good taste costs money, eh? <laughs> no, nah, Brad, don't thank me, don't thank me, <laughs> so, Brad, you and I go back too far to let a wee thing like principles get between us, you know, so, Brad, your friendship is all the thanks that I need. Cut <laughs> out! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, you know. I was singing, wasn't it, that bad? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, it's not a dream? See, see you next time you've got money in bum. Save it. Save it for a hip operation. What hip operation? Oh, I know it has to be. Hip operation. You'll need a hip operation when I'm finished with you. (laughs) (laughs) Here we go now, boys. The old turkey burkey. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Mary Sweetheart. All right, I'm darling, I'm fine. Where's, uh, where's my dinner being, honey? Well, look at it. Well, you must not be getting any bloody dinner then, eh? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You have got a short memory of Arbnes, but you're the gink that hates Christmas, remember? The one that went to jail for his beliefs. <laughs> well, you'll not be wanting to sully your gub by celebrating the lesser mortals like ourselves, will you? Oh, gee, oh, gee. What's for that? It's for that. Ah, you're bloody right, it's like that. <laughs> Through the mentor with your stupid carry on, and I'm going to do exactly the same to you. Fair enough. Well, I'll tell you one thing, lady. <laughs> nobody, nobody puts that scene as through the mentor. <laughs> I mince for no man. <laughs> <laughs> I have certainly had the practice, da. Shut it, you. Uh, I'm not going to lose my temper here because that's exactly what you want, and you're not going to get. Because see the jail, see the jail, the jail has changed me. Has it? See that? See that? I use that now. I use that now. <laughs> Nobody broke my mind, but they never broke my head. And that is how I do it. Bugger it! I'm going to lose my tip! You know, people often say to me, Rab, see if you was the Prime Minister, what would you do? And I say, well, no <laughs> bother, you know. See me, see you, see if I was Prime Minister. The first thing I would do would be assassinate all the working class. And then what? I'd assassinate all the middle class. Because that's me, I'm a kind of middle of the road guy, you know. And that would just leave the toffs and the scum. And we'd all stand there, you know, getting tooled up, ready for a square go. And the toffs would have the army on their side, but the scum would win, because they've got all the bull terriers. <laughs> and then we'd all commute down to London and sort of lay waste the city. And well, after we'd done that, we'd... We'd nick up Balmoral and milky a few grouse and get pissed and pee all the Chesterfields. You know? <laughs> that's me, you know. I mean, actually, actually, deep down, I'm a wee bit of a traditionalist, no? Nisbet, Nisbet. I thought we let you out in compassionate grounds. Ah, exactly, so you did. And that's how I'm wanting back in, on compassionate grounds. Listen, pal, you've got a decent face. Is there any chance of a couple of teas, seeing as how I missed my dinner? Ah, oh, come on, I'll see what I can do for you. So, I'm a hypocrite. You need a thousand faces for this life. All right, Inspector, away we go. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ah, but see when you get right down to it. I mean, life's too short, you know. So, you might as well... I got the shorts. Skim. I'm perky. I'll tell you one thing though. See before I do. I'm going to make the bastard suffer. Got him. (laughs) Dear Lord. Wait, is he going to show up on the cast list? I'm waiting for it. I'm pretty sure that was him, but just want clarification. Come on. Yeah, it was. I knew it. I knew it. 
So my biggest concern going into that was, was I going to be able to understand any of it? Because I had been told, and it was made very obvious very early, that the accents were stronger than they were in Still Game. And they definitely are. <laughs> but I, I, I pretty much got all that, um, which, again, watching a lot of Still Game being exposed to the accent, I think has definitely benefited me in that case. Because if I had not watched, if this was the first Scottish show I'd ever watched, holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, I got a good, I think, 85% of that. If I hadn't watched any Scottish comedy, you could drop that to fucking 25. <laughs> My lord. Um, so, whether this goes on YouTube or not, I don't know. When I checked it before, there was a scene uh, for just a Peter Capaldi scene. So, if I have to zoom through that scene and then put these, these uh, I'm, if, if I just have to cut that scene out to get it on YouTube, then I'll just zoom through it and then put it in, uh, you'll see a pinned comment of the link to just that scene if you want to see it. Um, I'll probably put it on Daily Motion, but if I have to zoom for that to get it on YouTube, then I will. But that is going to do it for my first reaction to Rap Scene S, but thank you again, Gary, for using your points on this. Uh, if you want to see more of this in the future, let me know. That's going to do it for me today, though. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitter, I stream every single day, my second channel, for Steam Views, my Twitter, if you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me, my Daily Motion, all those things are in the description down below. Thank you to all of them currently recording 88 on my Patreon, so you can support me on my channel. For those of you who don't know, you can be Patreon on me for as little well as $1 or £1. Pound. Any X to direction videos, those are in your comments up to date early, and your name in the description as well. Also, in the description is linked to the community is a link to the community reddit as well as the daily schedule as well as the twitch files channel with all that being said though my name is taffer's teens my first reaction to rabsley nesbitt and i'll see you guys next time bye